Hello and welcome to the session. So uh, last year my company uh, sponsored about 30 YubiKeys, this time 40. Uh, we have nothing for or against YubiKeys, they are just hardware tokens uh, to store uh, three subkeys. We'd prefer if they uh, not uh, close source their firmware and this type of things. It's just that we happen to have them branded with our with the Alphamoniac logo, and then we uh, we happily uh, provide them. So this year, uh, more than 30 wikis were given, and like last year, I'm about to make a quick workshop on how to use the YubiKeys. And uh, so every time a new employee uh, arrives in the production uh, team at Alphamoniac, I create a new GPG key and help them to, set, to be set up with YubiKey. And during this session, we will pretend that uh, Roger is the new employee and then we do everything from scratch. So the first thing we are going to do is generate a master key. Of course, you probably have one already, but let's pretend. So double RSA. The master key, we don't make it expire. Can you enter your name? Sure. <laughs> so I suggest that you don't do it at the same time as I do. You will be able just to watch the video later if you want to reproduce everything, OK? No comments. Are you sure? Yes, OK. Oh. Uh, oh. Okay. And then you type a passphrase. It's, we're going to throw it away, huh? it doesn't matter. Take this one anyway. It's okay, do it. <coughs> so this is a virtual box machine on, on which we are going to destroy everything. Okay, now you do, if I have a look at the keyring, list keys, you can see that there is only one, one thing, so I can do twice fingerprint, and then I see the fingerprint. So uh, for convenience, we're going to echo this into a key ID file, OK? And then gpg edit key minus minus expert, because I want to be able to decide what I want to do when I create the subkeys. And then after cat key ID. OK, here we go. So now we have just one key. And we, we, are, we are going to, do you want to add some other email addresses to your key? Yeah, Okay. my, my Gmail address. OK, good idea. So ADD, UID. Do it. OK. Oops. Just. No, it's because you, you have your. Okay. okay. So you've got to enter the passphrase that you've entered previously to create your key, and now you can do save. So now we edit the key again, and now we do add key to add a new key. So because I did minus minus expert, I'm I'm given the choice to choose eight RSA. Without that choice, without minus minus expert, I could do RSA but not set your own capability. So we do eight. So you see on top here, there is current allowed action. So that's the capabilities that the key will be able to do. We want to do three keys, one sign, one encrypt, and one authenticate. So by pressing S, you see sign has disappeared on current allowed actions. OK, if I do A, then it adds the authenticate, and E it removes encrypt. So that's fine for me. I want to first create the authenticate subkey. So I do quit. I want 496. I want the key to expire in one year, so I do 365 days, so just D. And yes, this is correct. Really create, yes. Type your passphrase. Okay. 
Okay, so now we have a first key, a first sub key. ADD key again. So we already did the authenticate key, so now we are going to do the sign key. So I remove encrypt, quit, 4096. I want also that it expires in one year, and yes, this is correct. It really creates. Your passphrase, please. Yeah, sure. Thank you for have that you, you choose a short one. <laughs> Eight. Uh, so we did uh, sign and, and oath. Now we are going to do the encrypt one. 4086. Expires in one year. And yes, this is correct. Yes, really create. Passphrase, please. OK, so now I do save. And if I do gpg minus minus fingerprint twice, then I see all the fingerprints. So as you may have seen, there is two encryption keys. There's one here and one at the top, at the bottom. So you see the, the letters E, A, S, and E again. So the E1 that you see on top is the, is the one that is associated with the master key. Though when your contacts will see the other encryption key that has an expiration date, th by default they will use that one. Okay, so now that we have a bunch of keys, then we probably want to save them, right? Just so that we can store them somewhere safe. So export, and then I do GPG minus minus export private no secret sub keys and then I select this one and I do I do a minus A so that it's in ASCII format and then I save it in export Roger then the short ID private so which one is that one so that's the A so Auth sub key dot txt. Your passphrase, please. Sure. So it's very convenient to have a backup of your uh, s s secret sub keys because after we are going to delete them from the computer, because that's the very point of having a token. It's that you do not store. Uh, any private things on on any private key material on your uh, computer. So this is the sign key. Your passphrase, please. It's going. Oh, so we'll we'll do it again. Doesn't matter. Do it. Yeah, you didn't have the focus. Okay. So my keys is leaked. <laughs> no, no, it's not. Uh, that uh, GTK thing is w well made, so it won't type in another window. It, yeah. It's still the 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 one that is on top, so nobody else catches the the thing. Though you just cannot type when it doesn't have the focus. So now we we are going to save his. Master key GPG minus minus export secret key. This one in the export folder, Roger. Uh, private master key dot txt. Your passphrase, please. Uh, in fact, I did a mistake. I forgot the minus A, so uh, this really is uh, not a txt. So we we'll do it again. Up, 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 for f because you put your mouse on on my okay. touchpad. That's okay. your your hands on. Yeah, you put your you put your hands on my touchpad, and then another window gets the focus. So. And then we save it without A, and y you will soon understand why. Uh, 
then we are going to do another ex uh, last export and that export is for the pub key so you just do minus minus export and then by default that's the public key Ma so this is not private this is public master key dot txt in fact it doesn't really make sense to say that it's the master key because when you export the public key in fact it exports all the master and the sub keys and there we go so now in the export folder you see a bunch of keys uh, you can we can also use paper key paper key is a fun thing I'll show you in a minute so you do minus minus uh, secret and it's a nice thing that doesn't have auto completion <coughs> so I'll get his master key as input and output export Roger <coughs> Uh, private paper key dot txt so let me show you how it looks in so what you see here is a printable version of the key and on the right this is a checksum so you can actually print that thing uh, put it I don't know uh, in your grandmother's garage or whatever and whenever uh, you you lose your private key, you can print this. You can take that sheet of paper, do some OCR. And the nice thing is that on the right here you have a CRC, so that even if some characters are wrong, you can still recover your key. Uh, maybe avoid printers that have some type of caching or buffers, so that the, your key material don't stay in the in the printer. Oh, just a joke. Yeah, Mike, can you give him the mic? Well, I have it. Sorry. I was wondering why you. Are I was wondering why you exported only two sub keys. Did I? Yeah. I think I. I sent the uh, true uh, encryption key. One is the. Uh, okay, I f I forgot the encryption key. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You exported the ma master. Mm -hmm. You exported the master, also. Yes. And that contains the sub keys. Okay, but I still find it convenient to have them separately. Sure, but uh, the key material is saved. You can right. delete it. You will be able to recover. Right, right. But I still find it convenient to have them separately. Sure. The 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 important bit is that when you put the key. On uh, when you do the key to card, then we had we had things may may happen. Okay. So I'll do another export then. Uh, so I forgot the encryption key. Here it is. <coughs> Correct. No, it's okay. Export secret. Sub key. Secret encrypt dot txt and your passphrase. So what I do when I do that with uh, the, the employees from Infomaniac is that I mount the .gnupg folder into that new employee's U, uh, USB key so that absolutely nothing is written on the server that we use uh, to generate keys. So that server is uh, disconnected from the internet server that has only GPG just to make sure that nobody can compromise our uh, GPG thing. Okay, so now that we have everything here we know we, we are safe we do have uh, ex we have an export of all the key materials into a folder that we will save somewhere now it's time to put the the 
private parts of the subkeys into the YubiKey. The YubiKey only contains the private part, it does not contain the public one. <coughs> Meaning that in order to operate it, you still need to have your public key on when, whatever the server you're using. Even if you forward the GPG agent uh, over SSH, you also need on that remote server to import your, your public key. So you need to add get install sc daemon to have your YubiKey uh, working, which I did before, so I won't do it again. When you do that, you can do gpg minus minus card status, and you see here that I have an empty YubiKey. So we are, we are going to put the three uh, keys in there. So gpg minus minus edit key and the key ID. Okay, here we go. Now I select one key. So when I do key two. Do you see over here, there's a little star? This means that I've selected the authentication key that is just over over here. So we take that key and we do key to card. Now it asks me for what's the slot, what's the destination slot on the UB key. So I say authentication. And now I need the passphrase again. So this is the admin P of the YubiKey. On a new YubiKey or one that you have resetted, the password is 12345678. Of course, we are going to change that again later. 12345678. Okay. Now I do key 2 again to they select the key number two, and then I do key three to select the sign key that is here, key to card. So as you see here, uh, it asks me if my uh, signature key, uh, do I want to put my signature key in the authentication slot? So of course that's completely dumb, so I'm going to select one. We'll passphrase again, please. I think I've guessed your passphrase by watching the keyboard. Okay, and then we do it again with the third key. Passphrase. I will pretend I don't know your passphrase. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> as simple as one, two, three. Okay, now a very important thing. I, a lot of people got caught and I did myself and therefore I'm currently transitioning my sub keys. If here I do save, what happens? Does any of you know what's going to happen that you don't want to happen? It's going to remove your the private part of your sub keys from your keyring. So I, if you don't want this to happen, you do quit and not save. So I'll do quit. Save change, no, hang on, I will explain. Kit without saving, yes. So, because I want to have a backup of the key material, I did not remove it from the keyring yet. So, I do that and I copy it. Let's pretend the export is my UB USB key, okay? But normally, as I said, normally we just generate uh, everything with the keyring being on the USB key already. So now, now that I have uh, also the keyring version of the keys on on my uh, USB key, I can remove the key, the master key. So the very point is that on on the UB key, you have the master and and you don't have the master key at all. Uh, you only have the private part of the sub keys and then you don't want to store any private key on your laptop. So remove, no, uh, delete is it? Delete secret key.
delete this key from the keyring. Yes. This is a secret key. Are you sure? Yes. Delete. 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 So uh, am I right that here everything is gone? Also the private s s part of the subkeys, right? Yes. I, I didn't quite follow what you've done with the second encrypting subkey that you've now thrown away, but you have a public part you're going to publish. I have it like the others in the export folder. Oh no, I forgot. Uh, did I? Yes, it's there. You had two encrypting subkeys. The first one um, is on your master key. No, you had two encrypting subkeys. Yeah, but it's attached to the no. No, no, no. I'm telling you, you had okay. two encrypting subkeys. Can you list the keys for me, please? So your primary material there is signing and certification capable, and then you have four subkeys: encrypting, authenticating, signing, and decrypting. This subkey comes. one of them away. This subkey comes together with the master key. No, it's a subkey. It's a subkey. Okay. So if you don't do anything special, GPG will generate that for you at the beginning. Okay. But you, but it is a subkey. So okay. you, you now have an encrypting subkey on your public key which you might publish, but you no longer have the secret part. All right. Okay. It's in the private master key. It's in, so, uh, Guilhem is saying it's in the private master key anyway. You happen to have a backup of it, but it's not on your Yubi key. So if you wanted to, right. if you wanted to decrypt something that somebody has encrypted, it, it, you need to with, get with the key out, not with, just your sub key. With this setup, people will use the, the last one. On because you have okay you only have it in a backup okay so anyway uh, now you do GPG card edit so here it tells you about uh, the content of the Ubi key as you can see there's the three keys keys that are there now I, I do admin help <coughs> Now I can do pass the WD and I can change the admin key. Uh, the, the, I can change the password of the UB key. So three. First I change the admin password, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can you please select uh, type a new admin password for your new UB key? So it needs the uh, uh, eight digits, right? What? Uh, yeah, you can if you want. It doesn't have to be digits. Okay. Okay, and type it again. All right. And now we are going to change the normal pass. So the admin pass is the one that you use whenever you want to do some operation on the on the UB key. The the normal pin is the one you will do whenever you want to use the key the first time after it's inserted. So the password here is one, two, three, four, five, six. Can you type a new password? I guess I can. Again. Okay. All right. So now I can VI test. <coughs> we can test if everything works. So GPG minus minus sign. No cl clear sign. Test. Can you type your YubiKey password? That's the normal password, huh? not the admin one. Password, yeah. okay. 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 And there we go. He signed with his YubiKey. Now, if I remove <coughs> test dot a asc and attempt to do it without the key 
then it tells me, please insert the key. Okay, and if I don't have the key because there is no uh, private part of that key, then I cannot sign it. Okay, that's that's how it works. So that uses the the signature uh, sub key. Now I'll show you how to use SSH authentication with the YubiKey. So uh, gpgagent.conf. Uh, does one of you remember the syntax? It's a enable SSH or SSH? How to enable the SSH agent? Do you have it? Okay. Normally, I have it by the. I c copy it all the time. Oh, I, I know. I can. I can do on mine. PG, SS, uh, GPG agent dot conf. Okay, enable SSH support. So enable SSH support. Um, the annoying bit is uh, if you are using uh, something like uh, GNOME or Mate or something like that, is that there is always that SSH agent and uh, the GNOME keyring thing that are taking over uh, the authentication. So you got to go somewhere to disable it. Uh, either that or you just kill them. But I'm not sure they will come back. <coughs> Maybe they will. Let's let's check. Uh, pull kit. Okay, that should be fine. Uh, so I have this in my gpgagent.com. Now I can kill the this one to make sure all right, and then whenever you have the SSH agent enabled var run user. One thousand. Oh, okay. Then here you have a socket file that you can use for SSH. So you just copy the path. Put it at the end of the file. Oops. Uh, as you can see, I'm not a, a VI user. Oh, I do have Joe installed. So you export SSH os sock equal. Okay, and now if I do SSH add minus big L, then I should be able to see it. And it doesn't work because I didn't source it. So I'm going to copy that. and doesn't work as, uh, as well. So uh, I think it's because I have an, uh, an agent running. No, I don't. Yeah, grip. OK, so I have an SSH agent here that, that runs. It needs to be killed, and I need here somewhere in the control center find, uh, auto start or start. Okay, startup applications. I did on purpose like that, that it was misconfigured to show you where to do it. So this is with Mate. 
uh, your mileage may vary depending on your on your desktop environment. So I log in again, restart it. And it doesn't work. No, okay, so I, I'm not sure why it doesn't work, though I'm going to show you on my computer. So not on the virtual box. On my computer, when I do that, then okay, maybe I will change the, the theme to something better. Uh, change profile, so realize light. Is maybe maybe default. Yeah, no default is black. Can you see, can you see like that? What, what do you prefer? Yeah. Okay. okay, so uh, when I do SSH add like like this, then I what you see you see here it says card number. Okay, this matches on y on your YubiKey, it matches the little number that you see here. You can also do GPG card status, and you can see the serial number over here does the same thing, okay? And then, uh, I don't know, ssh uh, root at mirror dot mirror one dot maniac dot ch and so this asks for the password on my yubikey and there we are, I'm authenticated on the server. So because I did it once already typing the password, I can control D, log in a second time, and it won't ask for a password. So typically, during a session, you just type your password once, and that's enough. Uh, when you see over here, so you can set up the name and things like that, but that's a bit useless. There's an imp important thing over here, which is a uh, signature pin forced. So what's that? Whenever you SSH to a remote server and forward the GPG agent, it means that anyone that has root on that server can uh, use that socket file to reach your GPG agent that you have forwarded. <coughs> Meaning that potentially that person can sign documents without your agreement unless you have set signature pin forced, which will ask you for a password every time you sign something, so a package or a document or a mail. If you don't forward the, the GPG agent, then you have probably less incentive to do signature forced. I still suggest that you do. Though, if you upload a large amount of package and have to sign all the time, that may be a bit annoying. So, you just decide. Uh, how to change that configuration? Uh, okay, so GPG minus minus card edit uh, admin <coughs> help and then there's for sig. For sig. I can do it. For sig. So, it asks for. So here it's going to ask for the admin password and then it's going to change it. So I don't want to do it, I prefer the way it is, so I, can't, I just can't sell. Thank you. Uh, the other things are less important, I think. Okay, so that's uh, it for the GPG uh, setup of <coughs> with the YubiKey. I'm going to show you other usage of the YubiKey later on. Uh, do, do you have questions? right now about the procedure? Anyone? Yes, please. Um, so, I, I'm trying to do something. I've got this YubiKey. I'm faffing about with the pins. I kind of, I, I came in late, but um, this is all a bit strange. I don't know. 
I've got a page with a default pin. How do I? Are there two pins? What's going on? Yes, so there's two pins. One is your admin pin, which defaults to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the other one, which defaults to one, two, three, four, five, six. So that other one is the normal pin you will use every day. Right. And, and how does this relate to these commands I'm typing? That's the number one. Okay. The, so if I'm in admin mode in edit card, then the number one change pin is the user pin. Right. And it asks for your user pin right. to change the user pin. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll figure it out. So whenever you uh, lose the password of your YubiKey, then you have no other way to but reset everything, meaning that you will lose the private keys on, on, the, thing on, on the YubiKey, but that's the whole point of it. So basically, if you type your uh, normal pin three or five times incorrectly, then you can still reset <coughs> using admin pin, yes. and you still don't use your your keys but if you type your admin pin three or five times then you the only way to recover your hardware is to restart this totally but then you lose all your uh, yes, private keys. which is why I suggest that you have a password uh, a copy Backup, yeah, of, of your private material in a safe place and uh, probably even two of them in different places and then after you just remove them from your laptop uh, and whenever you lose or I don't know break your YubiKey, it's quite solid. Huh? In fact, you can uh, you can it's okay, <laughs> and because it's very light, so it, it does not have a big shock when it falls down. But I guess I don't know if you put it in a washing machine. I don't know what happens. <laughs> uh, one of one of the steps that you took was you removed the private keys, right? From my laptop, yes. Yeah. Because that's the whole point of it. Yeah, uh, but did you only remove the the private keys, the sub keys? So... Uh, uh, are you able to restore everything back? Yes, because I, I did an export, so everything is, is there. So if I need one of the things here, I can do gpg minus minus import, and then one of the things here. Okay, so uh, uh, I was. Let's say I lose my YubiKey. Yep. My boss gives me a new one, and then uh, I just take these private parts back to my laptop, export them again on the YubiKey, and then I'm good to go. Okay, so you don't have the, the master key on the YubiKey? No, so only the, the only sub keys. The only way you can restore it is if you have a copy, as you, as you mentioned. Yes. Like in, in the basement of your grandmother. Yes. Okay. And, <coughs> I, and, and I think if you really lose uh, uh, lose a YubiKey, you need to generate the uh, uh, subkey again for the new key um, for yeah. for better security. <coughs> another thing, another thing that I want that I discovered. So uh, so I used my YubiKey, and I think you can you can go back if you want. I uh, thank you so much. <laughs> So uh, something that happened to me is that I set some expiration date on my subkeys, and then I wanted to change the expiration date of them. So the way you do is very easy. GPG minus minus edit key, cat key ID, oops. Then key to expire, and then you just do it again, like I don't know, uh, okay. Is this correct? Yes. And okay. Yeah, I need I need the master key to do that. That was the point I wanted to make. So to do that, I need the master key to change the expiration date, and then after I can export it again. Once you've done that, you publish again your public key. The thing is, uh, the FTP masters, the the keyring uh, people in Debian. They do have a script that takes the keys for um, uh, and uh, refresh them from public servers, but I've heard that sometimes it doesn't work very well. So you have to uh, gpg uh, minus minus send keys uh, blah and then minus minus key server uh, keyring dot debian dot org. So if you don't do that, maybe your your keys with the new sub keys won't be there. But 
there's a workaround. If you do uh, this, you may see that my master key also have the signing capabilities, and you can upload to, upload to the Debian uh, to Debian using that 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 one. So, and uh, so, so uh, can I have addition to this master versus sub keys and so on? So basically. Your master key is the most important because if you lose your master, then there is no ability to to recover this, right. and you cannot get uh, your key. Then cannot be back in Debian unless you get generate new key and get some signature. That's not the thing. I'm that telling that last last uh, December, I did not upload my new um, public key. Uh, that contain yeah. the new expiration date of the public yeah, key to the Debian, Debian so keyring, and therefore I w I could not upload. And the way to fix that is just to resign everything you upload with your master key, and then that's a kind of workaround. Okay. So whenever you generate sub keys, and they are not yet in the Debian keyring, you can do that to upload to Debian until it is the case. Basically, uh, only public keys has expiration date. So what's on UB key is is just private, so it doesn't have expiration date. Correct. So, so that's when you uh, when you change expiration date, you don't even need to have your Ruby key, but you need to have master key, and then you export those public keys, and then you upload them to to Keyrings, and then it, it's done. So right. So that's other. Part so of the uh, now I want quickly to show other things. So uh, I put back the Ruby key in, in the virtual box. Here, there's the GUI. <coughs> so the key also has a HMAC SHA1 thing. You s select one slot, click on generate, and there you go. You have you have a new uh, a new thing. So I suggest that you s save. Uh, that hash somewhere, just in case you you lose your UB key. Okay, and then you do right configuration. I oh know you can save it too. So I don't really like this interface. It's a bit annoying, but it does work, I'd say. And then uh, after I, I I use it, so I I remove it. Okay, now now it's the one of not in VirtualBox, the one of my laptop. I use it for keypassx C. So you see, it asks for my UB key, and that unlocks my password database. So I don't even need to type the password of my password database to accept my, accept my password. I just have the UB key plugged. That's enough. And then personal, what what can I sh show? Uh, okay, SPI. Let's say. Let's see if I can log to SPI. Where is it? Membership, maybe? How do I log into SPI? Does anyone know? <laughs> Where? Membership. Membership. Now I just press Windows Alt P, and then this thing types for me. So it means it doesn't go on, on, on it. OK, just one minute more. So I can quickly show as well. Uh, I, won't, I won't show you how to do it. But uh, if you go there to YubiKey, is it there? No, maybe with. Uh, That's the page. So I wrote here a quick tutorial to use the YubiKey to unlock uh, your Lux uh, hard drive. Uh, Guillem told me there's better ways using GPG because these only use the HMAC, HMAC uh, SHA1 slot. So uh, you, you can have a look to it. So basically, what you have to do is set one slot with uh, uh, 
a big passphrase that goes through your YubiKey, so you'll see in the t tutorial, and then change the the ask pass, uh, the, the key script. I think that's basically it. Is there any questions? Yes, Ian? Okay, I, 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 I got past my passwords. I have, I think, made a subkey. Um, I had to make a new signing subkey because I didn't want to... It, it didn't seem to want to let me move the main secret key onto the UB key. I don't know why. You cannot put the master right. key on okay. the UB key. So does that mean that if I want to start using this UB key, I need to wait for key ring mate to have my new sub key? Correct. Which is why I told you you can continue to sign without the UB key for that period where you have new, UB key, new sub okay. keys. Sorry, I missed that. Thank you. Each uh, new install PCI experience uh, that it's uh, annoying that uh, I need to install a bunch of uh, stuff to enable the YubiKey feature. Uh, so is, is there any way to use the in install package? I'm not sure I get that. Um, for, for example, you just in install the uh, uh, SC demo yeah, on your, P that's, that's uh, the on your you VM, right? That's the only thing you need to, but, to but, use the but key. I think it's not the only package I need to install. I think maybe uh, two or three packages. To my experience, on the default Debian yes, installation... Yes, uh, after uh, install the yeah. uh, uh, GNU PG. Yes, yes, after GNU PG, then you just need a CD and that's it. Okay, thank you. If it's the default and then you uh, added the recommends and these things. Like that. So maybe dear M M N G R, if it's not there, but uh, that's maybe about it. Any other question? I think we're, we're yeah, it's time. Okay. Thank you.